Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencast Online tip video. You may have started to see a number of websites supporting a new authentication method called passkeys. It's still very early days, but the numbers are starting to creep up, so I thought it would be a good time to give you a brief overview of what they are and how to use them. So let's start with what is a passkey? A passkey is a more secure and convenient way to log into a website rather than using a standard username and password. Now, without getting too technical, passkeys use a pair of cryptographic keys that work together, a private key and a public key. You hold the private key on your device and the website will hold the corresponding public key. Access is only granted when the private key and the public key work together. Now using passkeys has many benefits. For example, if the website ever gets hacked, the attacker can only get your public key and this is useless without the private key. Using more traditional usernames and passwords, the attacker could log into your account unchallenged. And this is made even worse if you're in the habit of reusing passwords on different websites. Security is enhanced even further in that adopting passkeys means that you will have a unique passkey for each website that you use. And even better, there's no need to remember anything. The passkey is stored on your device and is offered up automatically, making it more accurate and much, much quicker to log in. Now to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to use this website, which is webauthn.io. Uh, there's tons of resources on here, by the way, if you want to learn more about the technical aspects of uh, using this particular mechanism. But I'm just gonna go ahead and register on the website. Now for this demo, I am going to use 1Password to store the pass keys, although I don't necessarily need to have it, but the latest version of 1Password uh, does a great job in saving your pass keys and allowing you to synchronize them with your various devices. But let me go ahead and enter a username here on this particular website. So I'm just going to set up a user called SEO Demo. We'll just hit return. And you see across in the top right hand corner, uh, we have this pop up which has been produced by 1Password. It's realized that this website does support pass keys, so it's prompting us to actually save the pass key directly into 1Password. Now I could go down here if I have multiple vaults, I could change the vault I wanted to put it in, but we'll just put it in my personal vault for now. You'll see this symbol here indicates that this is a pass key, and I'll just go ahead and say save. Now if I just go across to 1Password, Let's just have a quick look at that first. So there we go, there is my new record here. And you can see that is my username and this is my pass key. Okay, let me just pop that down. Let's go ahead and use this. Now it's very simple to use. If we just say authenticate, right, it's already pasted in my uh, username and you can see here, I've got the option to sign in with a pass key. If I just go ahead and click sign in. We're now logged in. Now, if you're an existing 1Password user, you might think that, well, actually, it's not that much different from what I normally do with 1Password. That will log me in automatically. But you have to bear in mind that we're not using username and passwords. We're actually using cryptographic keys. So it's much more secure for all the benefits that I mentioned in the introduction. So how do I know which websites actually support uh, the new passkey authentication? Well, some of them will be quite obvious. Uh, some of them, the first time you sign up, they will prompt you as we saw before. Others, you might need to sign up with a username and password initially, and then uh, create a passkey later on. But a good way to find out which websites do support them is to use 1Password. If I go across to 1Password, and then go across to the Watchtower, uh, this is where it will give you, as you can see, although I've got a great score in Watchtower, I've still got some work to do on some of my passwords. But here in this section, we have a section which shows me which websites have pass keys available. So if I go into here, so of the websites that I'm registered with as known by 1Password, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Microsoft, Office, Coinbase, and Google, all now have pass keys available. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription 
to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.